Hey guys, Kyle here. Today we're reviewing set 71737, the X1 Ninja Charger. Uh, this set released January 1st uh, this year. Retails for, I believe, 55 euro. I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I checked. Uh, it comes with five minifigures. Uh, one of those being the limited edition Golden Legacy Cole. That is a mouthful to say the least. So let's get into review. Alright, starting with the minifigures, first of all, to get this out of the way, because I'll probably be saying it's a lot this year with Legacy, but again, it's the same Kai and Jay from 2020. Uh, Jay, you could get in the uh, uh, Thunder Raider, sorry, that took a while, and you could get Kai in the Kai Fighter, which I'll have a link to, uh, link to both videos in the description if you want my thoughts on those. The only really thing special about Jay is that he's got a golden chain i think and i believe maybe his torso is different although i think that was just with lloyd because in the thunder raider uh, the ninjago language on their robes was spelled different so yeah let's move on to the next minifigures so the next two minifigures in the set again our minifigures are already covered mini droid which i'll leave a link to the zane accessory pack in the description although this ninjroid while he is the same uh, it's not really picking up well on camera, but he's as you can see he's got like this extra bit here for the glider Which I I think correct me if I'm wrong in the comments But this is the first accurate like Nindroid glider we have because the other one uh, Let me get it just there Because this was the one we got in the Zane accessory pack, which I mean it's not very accurate whatsoever But I don't know yeah, let me know in the comments below. Maybe this was part of Rebooted. I'm not too sure. I didn't really buy any sets in 2014. So yeah, let's move on to the last minifigure in the set. The one that you'll probably be buying the set for. And yeah, the last minifigure in the set, just like the other Legacy figure uh, sets, sorry, uh, released in January. This does come with a golden minifigure. In this case, it's Golden Coal, which is a combination. I'm not too sure which suits. But obviously, the main suit it's trying to use is uh, the Shintaro one, which, if you want a comparison to the normal one, just get it there. As you can see, uh, the color is just inverted, except for using black. It's a gunmetal gray, which, I mean, is different. The torso is also different. Again, not too sure what it's based off on. He comes with his uh, hammer, which you got in the 2019 sets, instead of uh, the newer... I hammer i think i don't even call that a uh, part of the shintaro stuff at least obviously last year and if you take off the mask as you can see it's just a normal coal and obviously as well just like the other ones it's got the 10th anniversary ninjago thing uh which is a printed piece which is really good so uh yeah anyway let's move on to the main build of this so yeah I should go without saying the main build of this set is the x1 ninja charger which I mean, this looks really great. I kind of messed up this, though. Uh, so if you see here, which, yeah, that can break off, I guess, very easily. I didn't even realize that. But as you can see here, there are, should be able to see. Uh, yeah, I accidentally got this piece stuck in here, which don't do because this can't close properly, which sucks. But anyway, let me just put that back up. And boom, it's fixed. But anyway, as I was saying, which I forgot now at this point, uh, it's got two uh, spring-loaded shooters at the back, for what they're called, uh, which you can rotate, although, be warned, this breaks off very easily from what I've done with it. Uh, you can't, on the original, I believe, you could, like, spin it around, which you can on this, which does kind of suck a bit. Uh, but the main, I suppose, thing, play feature of this set is... Losing that, but as you can see here, there's like a little switch. And you might be wondering, well, what's that for? Well, if you've watched the show or on the original, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It doesn't shoot out as fast as I thought it as it should, uh, although it normally does. But anyway, I guess this is the second part of the set, which is the two in one. It's a bike and a car, which I mean, this bike kind of sucks like a lot. On the original, it didn't have these bits at the back, so you could just, like, if you really wanted to, you could take this out, but you have no seat. Which, yes, this is the cockpit for the set, by the way. Which, taking a closer look, it's got a sticker for Kai's symbol and just some sort of computer thing. Uh, not really too much to say about this set. 
all too much. Well, this part of the set anyway. Uh, I think, yeah, this set's like pretty good, but let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. So take a look at the instructions, which mine are a bit scrunched up. Sorry about that. It's been just like in the bottom of the box since the set came out. But if you look at the back, which, yeah, and it's also pretty messed. You can see the play feature, but you can also see four of the other sets, but obviously the X1, uh, the Titan mic, which uh, that review should be going up soon enough. Uh, you have the Boulder Blaster, which I do not own yet. And you have the Tournament of Elements, which I also made a review on. Check that out, link in the description below. A lot of links in the description today, huh? Well, let's take a look at the box. Take a look at the box. Also, I apologize if you hear wind or rain. It's kind of stormy right now, but yeah, as you can see, it's just got the X1 at the front with the mini fakes and whatnot. And also, it has obviously the new, or not new legs, look at the new golden ninja that's up here. Who I don't know who that's supposed to be, but at the side too, you have a uh, and here you just have some of the play features, not too special, some scenes from the show on the top of the box, which if you spin it around, as you can see, it just shows all the minifigures, which uh, these are the golden minifigures are called the legacy figures for some reason. I don't know why they call them go golden, although I'm pretty sure, I mean, again, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure on the Ninjago City Gardens, which I also do not own. Uh, the, the Woo, I think, is his Golden Woo instead of Legacy, which is weird, I guess. Very weird inconsistency. But, yeah, if uh, I guess opinions about this set, it's pretty good. I would say it looks better than the original. Obviously, though, it's very easy to mess this part up. Which is also, I forgot to mention this as well in the set, but it's also got two gaps here for some reason, which looks very weird and awkward. And overall, it's kind of odd. But yeah, I mean, if you want to get this set, I would say go ahead. It's pretty good, especially if you want to collect all the legacy figures or the golden figures, whatever you want to call them, uh, which I also would get this set pretty soon as well. Well, at least by the end of the year, because usually with like anniversary sets like Star Wars, they retire by the end of December. So, I mean, obviously there's a good while left in the year, but I'd say get this as soon as you can. All said and done, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next